Okay, we're out in the garage and uh, I'd be able to hear the old heaters on because it's November and it's getting cold out. Uh, well, what we're working on today is a sway bar change on this car. So this is from CPP out in California. Um, usually they do pro touring stuff, uh, but heard about this bar which is more of a pro touring style rear bar. This car's kind of pro touring, kind of drag. It does neither great. Um, but one of my issues that I had is I bent that axle shaft and the studs uh, this fall. And if I zoom in here, uh, I have a Blazer two wheel drive uh, sorry, two door, uh, works on two or four wheel drive, uh, two doors. Uh, usually it mounts on the top. I flipped it to the bottom. Uh, so this would be on like a 9802-ish or 04 or whatever, uh, two wheel drive Chevy Blazer. Uh, it is better than the one that mounts on your lower control arm brackets. Uh, it's stiffer, it's one inch, however, this car, I cut like a 158, 60 foot, and it does not uh, keep the car straight launch. Uh, basically what I did, uh, I just grabbed the brackets from the so, uh, junkyard, uh, ordered up some new bushings, um, something you might be able to actually notice, and that's I think part of my problem is these bushings are split on the top, and there's kind of a gap in between them. I think as this car kind of rotates over on the launch when I'm at the drag strip, that sway bar is opening up that gap. So kind of what I'm looking to do here is this bar mounts right here, if I can move my camera in the right spot, on this kind of chassis brace that goes from the uh, torque box or whatever you want to call it, basically just the upper control arm mount cross member to the actual frame rail. Uh, and it's pretty much fine, except uh, when it's not. So basically the CCP or CPP, whatever the Chinese Communist Party, uh, except it's actually made in the US, I'm pretty sure. So uh, it's a pretty nice product. Um, change this over. Oh, this is a one inch. That one on the table, the CPP bar is uh, inch and a quarter. Uh, the inch and a quarter one is hollow. This one's solid. So generally they should weigh about the same. And that one should be about twice as stiff roughly, depending on how you math it. Um, probably gonna have to do a couple tweaks because the CPP bar mounts from that lower control arm bolt right there, somewhere up here. You can read the directions. They're helpful. Uh, they tell you where to put things, basically. Uh, gonna take that off. Of course, they do sell like drag focused bars, uh, but this car is a street car. Uh, I want to run tens and do autocross and stuff like that. Uh, people make the big heavy duty ones that go on the lower control arms. I don't really like that much uh, stiffness, and the CPP bar is adjustable. Um, then, also, since I have mufflers, uh, three inch, uh, there's a little bit less room underneath here, plus fuel system running in and back. Um, Looks pretty compact, so probably gonna skip most of the install part because it just bolts, and if you buy it, you can read the instructions. Um, anyways, so I'll get it on and uh, follow up with any modifications I have to do because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do something because I work that way. Okay, magical editing stuff now. Okay, and we're in. Um, kind of interesting thing. I looked through the instruction manual here and I've seen a couple photos of these installed and you can see how basically there's this bracket that goes from the lower control arm uh, frame side that gets then drilled up in, it's somewhere here, here. It gets drilled up in the cross member and they recommend, you know, manufacturer recommendation 
is to put the sway bar on the bottom of the bracket. Uh, this bar in the instructions actually isn't the bar you get in the kit. Uh, this looks like it's got like round arms with flat ends, and this bar I bought has round, you know, the sway bar over the rear cover is round, and that's flat arms. Uh, this might be like a one inch bar or something. Uh, anyways, this arm sits quite a bit below the frame. Um, the exhaust, honestly, on my car was about that level, so it wasn't something I needed to worry about, but there's no point in having stuff hang lower than you need. Uh, otherwise, the instructions are pretty fine. Um, this doesn't really help any, because you don't know which way. It just says, hey, you got bolts, and show shaft, medium, and hard as far as the strength. Uh, Make sure that the brake lines are underneath. I mean, they're instructions, but I almost didn't really follow the instructions at all. Uh, a couple notes I had is the bottom bracket here doesn't sit parallel to the ground. It sits tweaked back a little bit. And it's almost due to, uh, basically I wanted to get the three holes on the bottom to line up three holes in the top and I had to just pull the mount towards the differential cover kind of slide it back and make it kind of point down uh, towards the front in order to get these holes line up and then the in links are a little bit long to do it this way but it seems like it tucks up there really nicely and if it focuses and I can get everything I mean there's at least uh, an inch to the frame mounting it on the top on both sides. You can see. There it is. There's still room and the bar doesn't hang below the frame. So I don't know why CTP recommends uh, the installation of those links on the bottom. Um, it really doesn't provide much benefit in my opinion, but kind of tucks nicely between the exhaust uh, and the frame and the control arm and kind of just tucks back there so uh, as you know your wife or uh, the, your mom or your teacher that always says read this instructions before you install it uh, in this case I just pretty much ignored them I mean I used the torques that they told me and it kind of helped putting stuff together, but largely I ignored where they told me to mount the front end links, and I think I end up with a better result. You can kind of see the the whoop. I think it's just kind of a standard part that they uh, supply. You know, if you have a Nova or a Chevelle or a Camaro or something, I'm sure the width of that tube is different, or the mounts, you know, whether it's a leaf spring or whatever. Uh, I'm sure that that bracket mounts different places and I think that's for like axle clearance that hoop you know if this is mounted on the back side or something um, just common parts commonized things uh, but otherwise there's some grease zerks underneath there I'll probably shoot a little bit of grease I did pre-grease them before I assembled it but I'll put a little bit more in there uh, overall yeah looks pretty decent to me just and odd that there's really limited uh, photos online of people using this bar. It's not advertised really well. Um, the only place to buy it that I found from is direct through CPP or their uh, website. And the website doesn't really have any photos of it installed. Uh, the instructions are of the wrong bar. Uh, but it's a nice product. Um, I mean, it used to be like $200, and now it's like by the time you pay your share to the government. Uh, and the shipping company, it's like 350-ish land to your door, uh, which is about the same as everyone else's bar. Uh, this one does have the adjustability. I went to the soft setting, the far, far forward one, because I'm not gonna be drag racing at any time. Um, I'll throw a picture in here uh, showing what the blazer bar looked like overlay. Um, I roughly estimate this bar is about twice as stiff, but the control arm, like the links are longer. 
Uh, it's probably anywhere between like 50 and maybe 40 to 70 percent stiffer. Uh, maybe 40 to 80 percent stiffer, uh, depending where you have the hole, uh, than a one inch blazer bar. Um, and I think a lot of it is I used to be picking up on that little bracket right there, uh, that kind of angle bracket that goes from the frame, the cross member which isn't nearly as stiff as tying it into uh, the control arm and then up on the frame cross member. So yeah, I'll quit rambling. Um, seems fine to me. Just ignore the instructions and uh, do what I did. I guess the only other thing that's worth mentioning is uh, the top of those links were a little bit close to the uh, floorboard and I just cut on my bandsaw about a quarter inch of the threaded end. Focus. There you go. Did you know that if you yell focus to your camera, it doesn't do anything, but it makes you feel better. Uh, cut about a quarter inch off of those. Those will go in the bin. Uh, but it made the links just a little shorter and made about an inch, you know, about a thumb between the floorboard and the top of the link. Uh, on the chassis side. So, yeah. Anyways, might as well throw the giant horde of uh, packaging material away because it fits. So, yeah. Catch you later.